In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use Dataflow to merge multiple data sources in Datasphere. In this tutorial, you will learn how to transform data sources, use unions to expand data table entries, and use joins to merge data table columns, and then run a data flow to update a table. A company has three client lists created by the North American team, the European team, and the Asian team. The company also has a list of geolocations for the cities that their clients' head offices are located in. This data can be merged from these different data sources into one table that can persistently store this data set in Datasphere. In Datasphere, select Data Builder. Make certain to select the correct space. Click New Data Flow. Find the data source either from the repository that stores the stored data or sources that will link to remote data sources. Drag the data sources onto the canvas. Selecting a source node will display the source's properties and the columns in its dataset. Toggling on the Data Preview option will display the data from that dataset. A union operator will combine the results from two data queries. Union all will combine all the results from both tables, including duplicates, whereas union will only add unique results. Unions require that both datasets have the same columns with the same names and no extra columns. Looking at the three client tables, only the North American table has the state ID column and they are all using different column names for the state region column. Projections transform datasets by adding or removing columns or renaming columns. Add a projection operator for all three client lists. Give them descriptive names. Join the projections to the data sources by dragging a connection arrow to the correct node. Select the North American projection. The North American table has the right number of columns, but does not have a suitable name for the state name column. In the properties panel, select state name. Click on the more button then select Change Name. Change the name to State underscore Region underscore Name. Next, select Projection for the Asian clients. This list is missing the column for State ID. Select the Add button, then select Add Calculated Column. In the Properties, Change the name to state underscore ID. In the expression box, type N forward slash A in single quotes. Then click Validate. Select the Columns link to go back to the projection properties. Drag state ID below city name. Rename the column region or state name to state underscore region underscore name. Finally, correct the client list for Europe 
so that it has the same columns as the Asia client list projection. Now we are ready to use union to combine the lists. Add a union operator onto the canvas. Give it a descriptive name. Connect the Asia and the European projections to the union. Select the Asia Europe union to check that each column is matched correctly. Leave the Union All button turned on. Now add another union onto the canvas. Connect the Asia Europe union and the North American projection to the new union. Check that all the columns are correctly matched. Joins let columns from multiple datasets be added to a single dataset. The dataset for city location has the geolocation for all cities linked by their city ID. We can use the join operator to add the geo coordinate columns to the new dataset. Add a join operator to the canvas. Select the join operator. Change the join type to left outer. Connect the last union node to the join node. Then connect the city location node to the join node. Select the join node and check that it is joined on the two city IDs. Also check that all the columns are in the column list in the correct order. Note, you can add, remove, change the name and rearrange the columns here. To complete a data flow, the resulting data set must be stored in a local table. This table can be created manually but can be also generated in the data flow. Select the last node. Select Add Table from its node menu. Select the table. Give the table a suitable business name. Check that the columns are correct. Click Create and Deploy to set the new table. Wait for the table to be deployed. Once deployed, click Save. Give the data flow a descriptive name and click Save. Once saved, click Deploy. Wait for the deployment to be completed. Running the data flow will extract the data from their sources, transform the data with the rules from the operators, then load the data into the table. Select Run. This Extract, Transform and Load, or ETL, can be scheduled in the data flow from the scheduler in the Run Status Properties. This can be used to automatically update the data from the source at the correct time. In this tutorial, you learned how to transform data sources. Use unions to expand data table entries. Use joins to merge data attributes.
and then run a data flow to update the table. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the like button below. You can also view our growing catalogue of self-paced courses, tutorials, webinars, and join the community forum by creating your free account at analysisprime.com.